Hey there everyone. So in Microsoft land, it's a big week. It's Microsoft Ignite week, one of our biggest conferences. And we've had a lot of cool Power Platform announcements. So I wanted to highlight some of my favorite announcements so far. So the first couple are related to Power Automate. So it's the intersection of AI and making building flows in Power Automate even easier. So for a while in Power Apps, we've had this thing called Power Apps Ideas, which uses GPT-3 technology to be able to actually let you pass in some natural language, like I want to see all items filtered by me, and have that produce the Power Effects formula for you. So that is the same technology that GitHub Copilot uses actually as well. And that same thing now is coming to Power Automate. So we're able to actually tell Power Automate that I wanna build a workflow to be able to send approvals for documents in SharePoint or something along those lines. And it can actually go and create the Power Automate flow for us based off of what we type in. Pretty cool stuff. And similar technology is also being used inside of Power Automate using something called Prose to be able to help simplify the expressions that we have to build in Power Automate. So oftentimes, one of the biggest pain points in creating a workflow in Power Automate is when you have to get into the weeds of knowing these complex expressions and the syntax for it. So we can use the same technology to tell it, I wanna extract the time from a date and it can actually produce the expression for us. And we have some Power Apps announcements as well. We're finally getting true co-authoring, which is a huge win for all of us building Power Apps to be able to have more than one person building an app at the same time. And finally, we have Power Apps Cards, which is bringing the power of adaptive cards into the Power Platform. We can use a Canvas app-like experience to be able to build these micro applications with adaptive cards and post those on Microsoft Teams.